Hello everybody, welcome back to the next episode of the Cable Car Challenge. Thank you very much for joining me. I've had some excellent suggestions from you in the comments of the last video, which I'm really excited about putting into practice. And we are going to do those today. I think this is really going to boost up our numbers on how many people are using our cable cars. And here we are at the top of our city. Thanks for the lift. And it's going to involve using the cable cars around our city as a form of transportation, which I just thought was absolutely inspired. So let us see how we can do that. I was thinking at first we could have it just go round the outside like this as a start. And then we can see about maybe running it down some of these other roads along here. How about we see how that goes? So it'll mean this will have to be changed. Um, from a end of line cable stop, cable car stop to a not end of line cable car stop. The only thing that's going to cause some problems is um, these things just keep popping up. Even though I've like I've seen the road one, go back to the road one. Road one pops up again, drives me insane. Don't know why it's doing it. We'll try and ignore that. Um, <laughs> I can't remember what I was going to say now. Uh, let's pop this one in here. So the only problem is we're going to find with these. Oh, actually, no, that would be okay. Because if that went there like that, these people here, what is going to happen to them? See, that is not going to connect to there, is it? We're going to have to sort of... Because the, the angle changes on these are a bit weird. So what's the biggest angle we can get? Like that, and then like that, and then... <laughs> this is going to be hard. You can't curve these around the corner. So the closest I can get... Is that and then surely that will connect there we go and then this one can come down here um yeah what this will do is if you draw that like over the top even though it's up in the air um it's going to remove the um zoning underneath let me actually put this higher and go like that yeah it's still going to remove the zone it's just going to not let you have buildings underneath but you know i don't think that's going to be a problem and actually as these stick out the side like that this is actually going to work perfectly for going around the city. So let's put them... I'm going to put them at a junction so people can cross over there like that. Uh, this one might be difficult getting it around the corner. Am I going to be able to fit that down here? Oh, outside city limits. Darn it. Uh, let's turn that off. Let's turn those off. Can I... Oh, no, even when I'm that close. Look, I'm that close to the road. Oh, it will let me just okay i'm gonna go i'll tell you what i'll do i'm gonna go to here oh hang on hang on like that and then we've got space for going round. let's keep the game running as well so we can get some money coming in so i'm not quite sure so if i went there there and i'm gonna do one by that junction oh there we go we can do it that side and then i should oh yeah getting around the corner oh darn it that was the wrong one wasn't it <laughs> let's try that again uh, it's this one. <clears throat> yeah, getting around this corner is going to be a problem because I can't do that for obvious reasons. So let's see. If I come out, this is going to be weird. If I go like that, what's the tightest I can make this angle? It's literally like that. And then I can't go around anymore. Oh my goodness me, this is going to be difficult. Um, Unless... Yeah, the reason I was doing this pause is because this is costing me money every time I add and remove one of those. Oh, actually, we've got some money back. That's fine. Unless I put a road like coming out and connect it in that way, and then this one's going to have to curve all the way. Oh, this is going to be... This is going to be fun. It's going to cost us a lot of money and a lot of mistakes to get this working because I'm going to want to do things like this in valid shape again. Ah. Oh. Oh, have I used the wrong one there as well? I have. Oh, dear. Yeah, it's this one here I want, isn't it? Ho oh, ho! So that'll be okay. So that'll go from there to there. And then this one can run over the top. If we sort of go up a bit like that. And then back down a bit. So then if we have it an angle we might be able to just get away we're getting that around the corner so if i have the road like that ooh, would that be okay so let's bring this one out you're gonna hook onto that for me 
Yeah, we hooked on. So we'll get that to there. And then, oh, it's like almost. And then is it going to get around enough to get on there? Oh, there we go. Perfect. So this one here will just change. So that can come out a little bit further. That can go across and down. Oh, I was going oh, to use the anarchy mod. I'll just press the uh, key press to anarchy that in. Like we always do. But no. And that can go there. And then that can come into there. There we go. So that's going to work there. And then how are we going to do it along here? So what is this? Oh, that's another end of line cable stop. Oh, that's going over here. I wonder if that's counting towards my passengers. It says zero. We want to see if we can buy these squares up here. How far away? Yep, it's not letting us buy any of those that way. Is it going to go this way? Hmm, that's interesting. I don't know about that. Oh, it's a shame we can't. Oh, I can't even change that because it's hanging out. If I delete that, I'm not going to be able to... Am I even going to be able to build past it? That is the other thing. Because I'm not going to be able to put one on. Here, look. So that is going to have to go inside here. Oh my life, this is so difficult. How about I pop it there? And then this tries to come across with deleting as least amount of houses as possible which is basically this whole row down the side <laughs> oh let's turn all this back on that's why it's not snapping there we go so if i come across there we're going to lose three houses and then up to there well it does it and we can still have some houses in there so that's not the end of the world and then we can add another one in like over here somewhere which that can come straight through to if we put it here by the water yeah i think oh and there goes our money let's run the game for a bit yeah i think what's going to happen is we're just going to lose a ton of money but we're just going to have to deal with it this one here if i can let it go over the top over to there oh we've got a nice little uh nice little area that's built up there fantastic Got to get a look at it in the snow. I love it. Looking very swish. We'll turn the weather back on as well. While we're waiting for that to give us back our money again. I uh, had a few suggestions about our roads here. We can't, I'm going to give up turning those things off. I've got it turned off in the main menu as well. Saying not to, not to pop up those things. I'm going to do that so we get like a little grass verge which looks a bit snowy it stops the cars parking on there that is literally a visual thing because the cars parking on there makes no difference at all but i think that works much better that's good and i was just checking out these roads as well because we've got these big roads coming in here and it, they've sort of put an arterial through here and then off to the sides and this doesn't need to be a massive six lane road, but it's actually working at the moment, so I'm going to leave it. Yeah, we should be fine. We should be fine. How much does each of these things cost? Um, 15,000. Good gravy. So let's see if we can connect that to there. And we're going to lose some of those businesses. Oh, space already occupied. So we're going to have to spend some money to move that. Let's move you over there as we're going to lose these businesses up the back anyway. Hook you into there. If I can only lose some on one side, I'm happy with that. Because we can definitely expand in other places. This one's going to be difficult. Um, because I don't think I'm going to be able to fit. Oh, I can. Look at that. Okay, so if I get down here like that. And go along the back like that and then let's go up a bit like that there we go so now we can swing it round so what's the steepest angle i can do now we can put one in here which is what i wanted so we'll grab that and that should oh you've built half the public transport buildings you need remember cable cars only here is some cash to help you build more oh fantastic Thank you very much. That is very kind of you. So I had a few other comments saying that there's other modes of transportation that are not listed on here that you're not allowed to use. But like I said last time, when this scenario came out, 
there were some modes of transportation that hadn't been added into the game yet. So, quick sip of tea. I'm going to go with the no other transportation at all, apart from cable cars. That is what we're going to do. Right, I want this to get around the outside by deleting as minimal amount of these as possible. <laughs> it waited then and then popped up when I least expected it. <laughs> love it. Oh, I love the game. It's brilliant. Right, okay. Uh, what's the sharpest we can do here? That's about that. Then we can come across here. So we've got that one there. I was going to put the other one up over here somewhere. So if we can get round here without destroying any cars. There we go. Yeah, so we'll be able to get in now. So let's add that one. Uh, there's already a couple of buildings missing there. Look, there's still people using them, even though there's nowhere to go yet, which is fantastic. That's going to go there. Then that's going to get in the way. Oh, you're sucking water out of that. Really? Are you actually working? Well, that is a surprise. Uh, do you know what I'm going to do? Is I'm actually going to move you over there. And then I'm going to connect this up. That only needs to be a water pipe. And we need some power. Let's just go like that. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, I thought that was going to run across the whole city. We're fine. That's still actually managing to pump some water. Do you know what I'm going to do? Let me help that out a bit. We're going to spend some of our well-earned money and soil. Uh, let's just pause a sec because I can never remember which way round this is. No, right is down. I'm going to just go down in there a bit. Yeah, it doesn't cost us so much just to give it somewhere to flow into. There we go. Excellent. That's good. Right. What have we got? 94,000. So let's add this other one over here. Got a nice crossing there. So that works out well. There we go. Oh, might struggle to get out of this one. It's a shame we can't put them sort of like that. <laughs> Connect them. Um, okay, let's see if we can get across the water here. We should be okay, actually. And the next angle. Yeah, there we go. We can come along the back. Oh, cannot build on water? There we go. Can now. Uh, and if we get round here, I want the other one. So where have we got them so far? We've got them all the way around there, all the way around here. So another one... What is going on with this? Oh, it's like a really hilly section. Let's pop it there. And that should be able to connect to there. Yeah, fantastic. And then we're getting almost back to where we started, which is this bit here. So we might end up... Yeah. We might have to change this. Yeah, we are going to have to change this. This is what I want my loop to be. And then we'll come in with another... So where's the next one going to go? I feel like we need one more down here. Let's just destroy the minimum amount of buildings as possible. Let's do it right by the junction. There we go. So let's hook that one up. I'm going to come out a bit like that. Because I know I need to get around this corner. Perfect. And then that should be fine. We should be able to come up there. Yeah, there we go. So this one here, I'd like an end stop here as well. Oh, how am I going to cross these lines over? I'll tell you what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to run let's take this one here, let's take that one there, let's do that one there. I'm going to have to run just a little road out there and I'm going to put my end stop there. There we go. Ran like that. Oh, electricity. What's happened? We've got tons of electricity. Oh, I disconnected this, didn't I? Is that going to go in there? Is that all right? Are you happy with that? Happy, 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 happy. And lots of people telling me, of course, these snow dumps need electricity because the poor guy who's sat in here needs the loo, so he needs the water, and he needs electricity so he can watch the TV. Yes. Excellent. So now we've got, if we just zoom out like this, 
a nice ring all the way around. Instead of more down here than over here, we may be able to just add in another one, actually. Let's just delete that and add another one in there. Yes, perfect. Oh, we're going to get an invalid shape. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. That's okay along there. That's okay. Perfect. So people can come in this way, cross over the road and jump on here if they want. That's not too far away. And these people coming up here can walk across and get onto this one. So the people using this thing must be flying up. Three th we started off with like 1,100 and something. And now we're approaching 400 odd. So let's just um, have a look at these. So 152. 88. So these are definitely being used, aren't they? Uh, there we go. This one over here, 64. I think people must jump off the uh, little gondolas, whatever they're called, halfway between. <laughs> 134. Oh, look, you can see them coming in and out. They are loving it. Yeah, they must jump off the gondolas halfway through the, halfway through their trip and say, that's it. I don't want to go any further. 260. Oh, nice. Pop soda. Oh, look at that view. Look at that view. All the houses upgrading. I love it. Uh, let's follow this one up here. So that one is 70. Then there's the one at the top. 128, and that scoots around the corner, and we're almost back to where we started. 164, and then we're back to where we were. Oh, that is that is absolutely fantastic. Now, that is going to add up. I just can't stop looking at it when it's like this. That is going to add up to so much. Look at that Aurora body, Alice. Fantastic. So, the sun is coming up. So, what else do we need? We're, we're gaining lots of money. We've got lots of need for industry. Let's just take a quick sneaky peek at our industry down here so this has been churning away nicely outdoor trees they're all the rage you know uh where's my zone there it is so what have we got here we're going to change this to tea tree logging thank you for all the tea tree suggestions always a good one so we're producing plenty of our own um, I didn't see that. It's still level one. What do we need more of? Oh, we need to fill up so we can get more workers. Okay. Um, let's add a few more sawmills for sure. We've got plenty of need for that. I'm just sort of looking at the space we've got. Yeah, I'm going to use some of my money and my tools. Uh, some of my soil. Oh, look at that. 2,000 and I've barely done anything. <laughs> It's this bit down here. It's this here because it's so blimmin' big. It's costing so much money to dig it all out. Oh, that is so frustrating. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. I can't even run a road across there, can I? Because of this building, which is right in the way. So we're going to have to sort of come out here. So let me grab... Hmm, asymmetric road I'm looking for. I know there is one. This one. I just add that in, like nice and small, like that. Yep, that'll be good. Oh, I went straight for the traffic manager. Dunna have it. Dunna have it. Let's turn that off. Let's try that again. Uh, junctions. Turn that off. Uh, we we'll use the stop sign. Thank you very much. And then I'm going to go sort of down at an angle. Not with that one. Like that. Just behind here. There we go. And then we're going to put in a couple of sawmills, wasn't it? So let's jump in here. Because I know they're going to produce more goods for us, which will give us a lot more money. Let's just make that a bit bigger. Uh, sawmill. So what can I fit in here? Let's fit... That's off the main road. I don't want to go off the main road. One there. Slope too steep. Darn it. Okay, spending money, spending money. There we go. Just fit it in. There we go. Perfect. And then just, just hope the electricity reaches. There we go. Oh, there's electricity reaching all over the place. Oh, no, it's this one. <laughs> yes, the snow dump. There we go. That looks nice. That fits in perfectly well. Looking good, looking good. So how many jobs has that given us? The potential of 218. 
Oh, hang on. Was it high enough before and I misread the number? How many do these give us each? Uh, I think it says in this menu here, doesn't it? It does somewhere. Workplace 46. Let's just round it up to 50. Yes, that's added enough. We've definitely got enough. So once that is filled up, or once we've got 150, which is going to be any second now. Let's have a sip of tea while I'm waiting. There we go. So now all we need to do is wait for that thing to pop up once we would processed enough resources. So we've got biomass pellet plant, all the things you see on here. I'm thinking the furniture factory, if that is possible to use on its own, what else does that need? Um, it needs plain timber and paper. So we are making in here plain timber. So we need to make some paper as well, which we can do with the biomass pellet plant. It can produce paper. It's fantastic. So where could we pop that? We could just pop that just on the main road here. Because it's not that busy coming down here. So... Space ready occupy. We can find a little spot for that to go. There we go. Electricity still going okay. When we got some spare money, I'll come in and smooth that out. But at the minute, that's going to cost us a heck of a lot of money. So we'll leave that tinkering away, which is good. Yeah, you're going to complain because this road has no access to anything else. But it doesn't actually stop them working, which is good. Because I want things that aren't connected by roads. I want people to come and to use this to get to here but not to have access by road because they will probably just drive instead which I don't want uh, we need another four well I'm sure we're going to get those at some point what other squares can we unlock so I wanted to work my way over here but I can't so is there one here that's got like a big flat load of land on it that's hard to tell when you come out of that mode isn't it let's put the camera this way so that one there is reasonably flat on the top. So we have these set up as individual little areas with all their own services and stuff like that. And then just connect them. Yeah, let's buy it. And just connect them by cable cars. Oh, it's starting to expand. Six more tiles to go. Thank you very much for a little pep talk. It's not as flat as I thought, but it's maybe flat enough. And then we'll just have the cable cars hooked down here. And we'll have like a little mini... Whoa, people are dying. Have like a little mini cable car connection zone sort of thing. Oh, we haven't got any cemeteries. Oh, we have got a cemetery. Are you... No, you're fine. So it's basically just healthcare we don't have enough of. Yeah, okay. Where is the healthcare? All the way down there. All right, let's pop another one up here. Off the side road would be good. Sort you guys and girls out. How's our other needs? Fire safety. Got one little fire safety... Uh, fire, you know what I'm talking about, down there. The rest is empty. We're just going to burn all of our money. There we go. Money has gone. Uh, let's have a quick look. Police is sort of covered okay. Schools. Elementary school. High school's covered. Elementary school. We've got one down there. But we need one up over this area over here for sure. What is the cheapest one? 10,000. So we'll give it a few minutes. Look, starting to upgrade. Since we gave them some extra services, which is always good. I don't want to take a loan. I really don't want to take a loan. Do we have offices yet? We do. That will take some of our need for industry. And we can put those around these noisy things and they won't care. So, like these little spots that we've created because we're putting these in. Look, we can have a, a thin row of offices all the way down here. Let's do that. Nothing else around there. This one's got some offices around it already. Oh, there we go. We'll do that. Uh, this actually, I'm going to do that. Uh, offices. These aren't actually complaining about the noise, so I'm not overly concerned. Let's just pop that in there. And we'll put offices next to that. Around the top, nothing there. Let's just pop that in there. Cable cars are moving. Your pockets are metric. Ticket revenue, 20,000 Spondulix. 
20,000 tea leaves. That is exactly what I needed. Let's just carry on going around and filling these in. Yeah, that's okay. Let's just make sure they've got water and heat pipes. Uh, let's not build it too big. They're all covered. That's all covered. They're all covered. Yep. Everyone's covered. Right, so the school need that we have. Let's plop an elementary school. Oh, now we've got a trash problem as well. Let's pop an elementary school. What have we got? What are these? These are all shops. I'm thinking sort of in here. Maybe not on the main road. So let's go here. Off this side road. Do you know what? That was so close. I was almost... And then we need a bus to get people to come over here and join the buses. No, Biffa, don't do it. That would have been fantastic, wouldn't it? And then we need one in here as well. Uh, I'm going to pop this off the little road in the middle. There we go. So hopefully that will help with the education. And we'll leave it like that for now. What have they got for parks? Unique buildings, parks and plazas. We've got a couple of little parks dotted around. I think major. You're sort of out of the... What are you? Cross-country skiing park. Oh, I see. It's been put on the hill. People can head down the hill. Oh, upgrading. That deserves a celebratory sip of tea. 9,177. What's the next... Uh, no, not that one. The next unlocking milestone. 13,000. Then we get things like colleges and all sorts of huge stuff. That is good. The people are pleased. Trash. That was what I spotted. Uh, what is my trash problem? Garbage processing status is poor. So that one there, recycling centre, is filled. Good grief. Uh, this recycling centre is almost filled. And that is it. Right, okay. I'm going to come down here. I'd like to put one of these in. Next to this. But I can't without spending a load of money on... I could squeeze one of those in. We're going to have a recycling centre right there. You can come in. There we go. Don't complain. That will give us another 20,000. Another 18 vehicles. And all we've got to hope is that this garbage truck, when he's filled up, isn't going to have a load of problems Whoa, coming down the hill. Because this is a really bumpy... Oh my goodness, it's so bumpy. Let's zoom out a bit. <laughs> really bumpy hill. But yeah, we should be fine. We should be fine. Now, I have noticed this road here. But it's going to cost me a lot of money to fix that. <laughs> to put, to smooth the land out underneath. Maybe when we get more... Uh, oh my goodness, the trash is a huge problem. I think we need another one like over here somewhere. Um, as well. The other one isn't going to be enough. This road is huge. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to downgrade... Stop digging at me! I'm going to downgrade this one to this. And we're going to come up here. It's 1,500. Uh, yeah, I don't want to go underground. I just want to build it out here a bit. Okay, what we'll do then is we'll delete that. Where are we going with this? We're going up there. So let's just expand that. What would that cost? 2,700 and something. Okay, let's just expand that up to there for now. Let's just connect up this again so that's that one there and go up and over and then we're going to get enough space to go down and connect i am fantastic and then what i was going to do was just build a little road off the side of this and that one there so let's just do it sort of here yeah that will do and then we can put a recycling Oh, darn you, slope. Darn you, slope. Okay, pause. Let's just uh, solve that. Let's take this one. Go like that. And just go across a little bit. I don't even look and see how much money that cost me. And if we do that and add it on there, will it build up the rest of the land for me? It will. There we go. We'll do that. That'll do. And then we'll go here, turn off those, and put stop signs there. Do we need stop signs? 
No, let's just keep them going. They'll be fine. And that'll help with the rest of the trash problem that's over there. But apart from that, I think that's going okay. Let's have a quick look at our goals. Oh, that is building up nicely. So what else can we do? Ten construct a sleigh ride. Where is the sleigh ride? And how much does that cost? So we've got fire pit park. Cross Country Skiing Park, Ski Lodge, Skating Rink, Curling Park, Sledding Hill. I'm going to try and get as many of these in as possible. Okay, it's not in there. Is it going to be in unique buildings? Let me see if I can... Oh, here we go. What's this? Sleigh Ride. So is it literally just the cost of 350,000? <coughs> oh, what? The monkeys... 350,000 spondulics to get that one. That is going to take a lot of saving up. Uh, but these ones here... What's that? 35,000? 4,000. Oh, that's Fire Pit Park. I don't know whether these parks we've got in here are... That's like a carousel. That's a carousel. Got lots of little carousels plopped down, I think. That's it. Two... Oh, there's another one up here. What's that? Uh, oh, we've got a ski lodge. Okay, we've got something a bit snowy. How about this little area over here? Let's pop in a fire pit. Right in the middle of town. Right on this corner. Oh, look at that. Who? Oh, man, some of these roads, I tell you. If I had the move it mod, that would be sorted straight away. Look at that. Nice little fire pit. Pop in after work. Warm yourself up. Helps people to upgrade. That is just brilliant. Let's have another quick look. How many people are using? Can you not? Okay, if we do it this way, then I can click on them. Passenger service last week, zero. Oh, yeah, that one doesn't work, does it? Because it's outside the zone or something. 170, 90. And then what I was thinking of doing was to run another one sort of end-to-end -end down the middle because... Would that be worth doing? No, it wouldn't, because it is mostly residential. So, I mean, as probably most of you know, residential will go to commercial, they will go to industrial, but they don't go from residential to residential, like to visit friends or anything. Um, so there's absolutely no point doing something like that. Let's, let's go like that. There we go. Oh, the trash problem's going down. Let's have a look. Uh, garbage processing status is still quite low, you know, though. Hmm, I might put on a landfill because the landfill will take all the junk that they can't shift anywhere else. Can we not squeeze it somewhere halfway down the mountain where nobody can see it? Slope to... St oh, perfect. So they can all e come and empty their stuff into this and then we can just empty that to nowhere. <laughs> because we've got nowhere else to put it to. We could put one of these down incineration plant. What's that? 30,000. Let's maybe not do that. Let's maybe start making the little start up here. So I'm thinking we want to fill this up as much as possible. And what could be good is like a little grid and then keep this separate from everything else and see how it goes. So, for instance, if we did something like that and then just went along like this and filled this in, then what we could do as well is we could also... Is that like the right size? I want these to... Look at that. The size has changed somewhere along there. What am I doing? Am I going to get the money back for all of those? Probably not. I want these to be exactly the right size. Ah, oh, there we go. Look. That's more like it. Yeah, and what we could do as well by doing this is when we got a bit more money and we want to add this on, we could easily run this around the outside. So that would actually work quite well, I think. Let me turn off the road guidelines. I want this to be exactly the right. I'm going to use as much money as I've got to build out this grid. That should go right to the end. Yeah, it's actually not costing me that much money, is it? And then we'll see where we are. There we go. Something like that. 
And then we can sort of build in there. I'm not going to flatten all this out. It's going to cost us so much money. We need to just run the game for a bit to get more funds in. What am I charging people? Uh, that wouldn't be that button, would it? It would be this one. Oh, we're charging them enough. I don't want to do any sneaky sort of cheats like we've done before where we whack up the budget like really high. Why is this so low? Road maintenance. I want that on 100%. Yeah, definitely. Uh, there's no reason that is all the way down. And there's no reason that is all the way up. So let's just put these back. Uh, education, actually, we might up that. Oh, 4,000 we're spending on. The, their cable cars are flipping expensive, aren't they? They are flipping expensive. Okay. Um, and then... We are... Oh, yeah. We, mm, I'm thinking about this. You see, I was going to put... All the services, all the stuff that everybody needs, all in this little area, and they're not connected to anything else, but we do still need an outside road connection. But I'm wondering if we make it a really slow road connection to the motorway up here, that if anybody wants to come from here to here, they won't use it. Huh we haven't got any tools to say to ban like residents you can't use this road we have to just rely on making things difficult and then what we could actually do i'm thinking about it now is make that like we could make this industrial and commercial because the main idea is just to get people to travel isn't it oh my goodness people are dying what is going on our health care death care we do have right we need to put in some of these to help people to live longer um one of those in there will cover most of the city and an elder care next to it will also cover most of the city and spend most of our money so that should spread out we'll get more people being born and people will live longer and then i do just think we need another cemetery let us pop that just up over here just to help with that yeah there we go everyone's happy remove the dead please so why have these places here been abandoned worker education was too low so we're getting to the point now where so elementary schools reasonably covered high schools a bit low no university do we have modern yeah we've got the mti which is basically university and the university but that's going to cost us 90,000 or 75,000 which we just don't have the money for. But look at our look at that from 1,000 up to nearly 20,000 already. That is absolutely brilliant. And we could even why don't we stick in a couple of ski lodges. Uh this one here, isn't it? What is that? 3,000. We could stick in a couple more ski lodges. We could actually have a ski lodge next to the ski lodge. How many have we got to place all together? Is it 10? 10. We've done three. Let's have a ski lodge down here. So this is the ski lodge where you start at the bottom. And then you jump on the cable cars to go and visit the ski lodge. Is ski lodges at the top. And then when you visited those ones... You then want to cross over the city. See, there's no parks over here. To visit the ski lodge by the recycling centre. It is like the best view of the city out the back window. Look at that. I mean, who wouldn't... What are you doing? I'm busy doing something. Thank you. Who wouldn't want to look at that view? And then when you come down for breakfast... Who, who wants to look at that view? But, you know, this is we just... Why not? <laughs> why, why the heck not? <laughs> Traffic is okay. We come out of that view. What are we at? 91% traffic. And that is, of course, with vanilla traffic. So, I'm pleased with that. We've made a big jump. 20,000 towards that. Half of our ski lodges. And we're making money. So, any other sneaky ideas? What do you think I should do with this? Should I make that commercial and industrial and try and get more people to travel from one side to the other? Have like a real snaking cable car route. Look at this. We've got like this little bit up here. 
to bring them over to here. Trucks and everything are still going to use the highway. Some people are still going to use the highway. But as we know in this game, modes of transportation are always favoured by sims. The further up your list you go on the newer ones, cable cars is right up there. They will favour to use them, which is just what we want. And I'm going to put no walking paths in. We're not going to make it easy for people. Do you know what we should do? Oh, I've just had an epiphany. I've just had an epiphany. Can I stop people crossing here and here and put a cable car from one side to the other? Uh, that comes out the back. If we use this one, that's 15,000. Yeah, that's going to... Oh, what's that? Hang on, hang on. Move that up there. Pop that one there. Have that go from there to there. Why did that not line up perfectly? Because both these roads are not exactly in the right place. And then we want to stop people crossing. Oh, do you know what, actually? I bet even if we don't stop people crossing, we could change this to a highway road. I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I don't think it's going to cause lots of traffic. But it's going to take away all the crossing lanes. Uh, all the... Oh, it crosses that way. But they can't walk around the edge. So that's okay. They can stay that side, cross over the road and go. But they can't get to the other side. Which is what we want. So then if we do that, just double check. Stop signs. Yep. And then hopefully... So that's already got 42 people. That's got 34. <laughs> we'll see them going over the highway from one side to the other. I think that is going to be fantastic. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the other video on the screen as well. Maybe subscribe before you go. And have a fantastic day. We'll be back very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.